Could the lava from Mauna Loa soon affect a major road on Hawaii Island? That's what county and state officials have been preparing for. And joining me now with the plans is Ed Sniffen, Deputy Director of Highways for the State Department of Transportation. Good morning, Ed. Thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, we just spoke to county officials maybe an hour ago, live right here on Wake Up Today. They estimate that the lava is four miles away from Saddle Road. How long will it take, could it take to reach the road? So, so EOC is giving us estimates now. Um, the last estimate that we heard was between three to four days, but it's slowing. So we're hopeful that it, we'll have more time. Um, but we're, we're planning on the highway side to ensure that we're ready for that three to four day time frame. So ensuring that we have all of our equipment necessary for to set up any roadblocks that are necessary out there and to clear all of the Hamakua coast to ensure that there's no relaying restrictions there. So what is the plan right now if you do have to shut down Saddle Road? So if we have to shut down, well, we'll work with the EOC and law enforcement there to set up barricades at, at select locations that allow us the turnarounds uh, for, for people out there. We'll put up advanced messaging out uh, on the highways to ensure that people don't have to drive too far. And we'll put out messaging to the public to ensure that everybody knows that, that the roadway is shut down. And we're looking at the plan right now, the mile markers. I do want to ask, though, which Hamakua Coast State Bridges and Road Projects are still underway in terms of any areas that are either down to one lane and or are weight restricted right now? So only Nanoe Bridge, uh, none of them are weight restricted. Only Nanoe Bridge has one lane restriction because we have a tower crane that's mounted there to pick up all the scaffolding that's, that's necessary to build the project. The good thing is all of the improvements are done. We're just, we're just pulling all the scaffolding now. So if um, the lava accelerated and got there bit, um, before the three days that we're anticipating, we'll just pull the crane and leave the scaffolding for now. So we have plans in place to to ensure that we can expedite any lane openings that we need. So do you think it could be finished within three days if necessary? Absolutely. Absolutely. Would, could you expedite it if it's not finished? Absolutely. So all the, the improvements are done. All we're doing is pulling scaffolding. So we can leave everything in place and just pull the tower, open everything up. Any other options that motorists may have that you're looking at right now because I know Gina Mangieri talked to a bunch this morning you know some who catch the bus and and take the route and they say that if they would have to go all the way around the Hamakua Coast Way it would take a couple of hours round trip added to their it's a huge detour it's a huge length and a huge imposition to the public and we really apologize for it we're, we're looking at different options the, the good thing is since the time that we put out this map um, the lava flow had shifted to more west and west of Monica Access Road, which is actually better because in that area, there's flat areas above the roadway on the north side that could allow us to detour um, if, if necessary. We spoke with the Department of Hawaiian Homelands who owns that property there and they're willing to allow us to use that area um, to grade it to allow access in those areas. So we have options right now. And we're setting, we keep setting plans with the EOC to ensure that we're ahead of the lava flow. But we just need the information on where it's going to go and when. I know that this is more of a county question, but I don't know if you've been uh, talking to them, maybe giving suggestions. Uh, some motorists have advised to add more county buses, maybe some express buses. Anything like that being looked at? So Mayor Roth and his team are doing an excellent job to make sure they, they consider those things. They know how, it, how, how long it takes for people to go from the Hilo side to the Kona side to, to go to work. Um, they've already said that those buses will be will be added to the Hamako Coast, so it'll be almost like an express to that area. But it's still a work in progress. They're making sure that they're taking care of everybody's needs. And then finally, Ed, we've seen the images. I know you have two tons of people in cars pulled over the highway because they want to see the glow. They want to see the lava. We're looking at some right now. People crossing the highway, very dangerous. Now, Mayor Roth did tell us this morning that uh, police were out there ticketing motorists. What do you want to tell them? I'm asking the public to stay off of that highway. Um, that's, that's not a highway that was designed for people to park and walk on. It's a high-speed facility, especially in the dark. There's no lights there. So we've already had 110 fatalities in the state this year. We don't need any more. So stay off the highway. The great thing is Mayor Roth understands the, the viewing needs of the public. So he's working with the EOC to, to try and establish new areas that are better for everybody to view from. He's looking at uh, working with the military base in the state to consider the old Saddle Road and areas there that will keep everybody safe. All right. Again, you just heard it. Uh, Ed Sniffer at DOT saying that old saddle, old saddle Road may be shut down, may be shut down as soon as in three days, depending on the lava and how it's flowing. All right. Plans are in place. Thank you so much, Ed Sniffen, for joining us. Thank you.